What's happening guys? Your boy DBA Creations obviously coming back with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about the daily driver, which is no longer the daily driver. We're gonna explain why. Let's get into the video and talk about what happened with daily. So for starters, guys, I wanna say I was driving on the way home. It's like the car would go into gear, be all good and everything. Every now and then it'll do like the little wrench light would go on, the light would come on to driving and like the speedometer to be like to zero. My airbag light would come on and my tire sensor light would come on as well. It's like it wouldn't even want to shift. It'd be so bad off, bro. I, it's like, it was really just acting like the whole transmission was toast. The rear end like, you know, drink back a little bit. Almost like it was locking up. My car went from like, I was at 50 miles per hour. It went from like all the way to first gear and it was revving so high. Um, Daily just, like I said, completely gave out. But I went ahead and checked on the codes and stuff. P0720. And that code was talking about a output shaft uh, something. So I'm like, okay, output shaft sensor, whatever. Maybe that's like, you know, back of the transmission or something. You know, somewhere outside. Nah, it's inside the transmission. So today, I got to go ahead and remove my transmission pan and remove the valve body to get to a module that's called the lead frame module. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick this car up real quick. Let me get these two other freaking Big Daddy Lumberjacks. <sighs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just jack this car up, probably all fours. I'm gonna get some paint. All right, peeps. So after all that jacking, okay, this pan has eights. And I remember on the video, dude said something about unbolting this to like loosen all the fluid out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all. When it comes to like pulling this all pan down, I'm basically gonna be following a method that a guy on YouTube that I seen who works on these engines usually, uh, you know, what do you feels like is the common problem? So what I mean by like, you know, he works on these things. I don't mean just the engine. I mean like these cars in general. All right, guys, like I said, I'm going to be following this other dude's method. Everything I'm doing is pretty much by his guidance. Got to watch out for the dipstick because the dipstick is in there too. I'm going to do undo all these bolts. I'm going to try to get to where like all the, um, some people, well, he said on the video to, you know, try to drain it out this way. So whenever you're pulling all pan down, the few, the transmission filter is gonna wanna come up to eyes. Uh, it will get messy. So I'm gonna try not to rush this process. So uh, I'm gonna take the rest of the bolts out guys. Then I'm gonna get back to you whenever I'm starting to drop the pan. Let it drain as much as you can. So I'm gonna take this one down and hold this thing up. While I'm taking it off, I'm gonna tilt it back. Like tilt it back. Also, you don't want to touch these solenoids. He was saying that, don't touch the solenoids. I don't see any shavings in it, nor in the pan. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. The magnet right here. So I have the earlier models. On the newer models for the transmission, 6R80, they have two magnets. There's no, no shavings. It's a good thing. I'm gonna put this pan off the side to where, you know, debris and all that won't get in it. So over there that I have, I'm gonna put that off the side with the uh, dipstick as well. On these bolts right here, you can see like there are thicker ones, like, uh, let me get it on, let me see, let me see. Like this one right here versus this one. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but also, so you can't put a T30 in there, but you can put the T30 in here. It's supposed to be long bolts coming out of those, so. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to pull this switch, but I will check in the video or keep you guys updated on what I have to do instead. I'm gonna also leave the video of the guy who was uh, working on this in the link to show you guys, you know, where I find out all this information from in case anybody is wondering and stumbles across my channel by accident instead of his. It's gonna be 11 screws. I got a couple in the back over here as well. So I'm gonna leave one of them in there. This one probably right here. 
Just loosen it a little bit. I'm gonna take the rest out. It should be long screws like this. We'll put those on the side. Make sure uh, you also have your uh, bucket around because it's gonna drain a lot. Like I said, it is gonna drain some more. Got at least three back here on the motor lead frame. Bolts in the back are gonna be like shorter bolts. And 11. Now I should be able to uh, wiggle this thing out. Let's go ahead and let that drain for a little minute. For a more detailed video, make sure you check the link in the description. I'm gonna hold this thing up and undo this bolt. Cause this sucker is gonna be heavy. All right, one long bolt. Now what we gonna do, cause it's honestly gonna fall. I'm gonna slowly let this thing drop. Uh, might be that switch that's holding me. So I guess I gotta remove this switch anyways. Pull this little valve out. I guess the valve is good. Nice. Okay, so the reason why it's not coming down, I undid this but i think it's still hanging up from this piece that's up here that this right here so i'm gonna have to take this thing out i'm going to have to do that all right so the way i removed that piece i just pretty much wiggled it out and that's pretty much the way you got to do it um so the valve body should want to come down now all right last bolt <sighs> Talk about the stucker wanted to come off. And there's supposed to be four of those little rain things right here. I'm supposed to have four of them. Well, one of them is not even there. All right, guys. So I just checked back on the video and um, I have the, I believe you can see the earlier or later model. I don't know how uh, to even see it. So yeah, I just checked in and this is definitely how it's supposed to be. The late build, um, it is right here. So this one right here, the late build, it's supposed to have three of them. Uh, I don't know how the camera's looking. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, it's supposed to have three. And as for the newer builds, they're gonna have four. Now I just need to flip this uh, valve body over and remove the uh, molded lead frame. Okay, so on the molded lead frame, there's like six bolts from what I remember dude saying. There's going to be six bolts for this. There's going to be two right here, two up here, and two down here. Remove those six, and I'll show you the next process after that. All right, so now what we want to do, since we got all those six bolts out, I'll turn this over. They got like pins around right here that locks it into place. So... This part should come up next. All right, there we go. All right, peeps, so whenever you get your part in from Ford or wherever you bought it, you should have a foam strip. You notice that it come with the foam strip, which is right here. And your old one, you know, your old lead frame that you took it off and it didn't come with one because it's more of a new design and if i remember correctly it's because uh having issues with the solenoid they have an issue with the solenoids going out so make sure you put it in like that all right peeps so i'm gonna flip this over make sure you watch out for this little dial right here this little dial goes in between this dial pin that's way down there the little circular one with the uh, piece in the middle this Make sure the little black thing goes in between this, right where that hole is at. They have dial uh, pins on here too, by the way. So it'll line up just how it's supposed to be. All right. All 
All right, guys, so just got it into place. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like now. You see like in here, I have it lined up. And you know I have it lined up whenever I will pull this black thing and it'll move with it. Ta-da! Make sure this thing can spin freely. Now I'm gonna flip it back over and I'm gonna tighten the screws one by one. I'm not gonna tighten them fully. I'm gonna just put them in by hand. So, you know, it can kind of pull it to each other. All right, guys, so uh, I just finished hand tightening the uh, bolts and I'm gonna snug it up with this a little bit more. All right, guys, post a correction, 53 inch pounds. We're gonna torque this down to 53 inch pounds now. All right, so I just finished torquing it, but I'm gonna torque it one more time. Okay, guys, so we're back up underneath here, about to uh, put the valve body back on. Make sure you uh, pack this up well, more like pack up that little valve uh, that came out of here with some, um, what you call that? Transmission assembly lube. Pack it up a lot. And once you stick it in there, once it's all caked up, make sure you pack it some more on the outside so it'll kind of stick on there. And you're going to have to worry about putting this back into place as well on that little uh, black thing that we was, uh, the little gear selector thing that we was uh, messing with earlier. You gotta have to get that back in the place too. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just show you guys what I'm gonna be doing. We're going go in there. I guess. Okay. And uh, oh, I'm gonna look for one of my screws. It's gonna be hard whenever you got gloves, so gotta get you a little tool, your torch bit, tighten it up. So now, what I'm gonna try to do is align that gear selector. Honestly, uh, it's already there. It has to be already there. Let me make sure. Got two screws and, like I said, this gear selector. All right, so make sure you got it pretty much in this slot by the time it's all said and done. But uh, I'm going to finish screwing the rest of these on. I just have two right now, but I'm going to get the rest right now as well. I'm going to try to align some of the rest of these screws. I also have dial pins in here. Helps you align this uh, valve body back in this place. So you're gonna know whenever you got it in place. I'm gonna get the three screws in the back. If I'm correct, this tightens to 71 inch pounds. And they do have a torque sequence for this, so look that up. Should be included also in the description below in the video that I'm following. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna do before I tighten this uh, thing down the torque spec, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in as an alignment part on here. This is the alignment, and it has to align in here correctly. I think I can see it at the bottom right there. So, like I said, you're gonna align that correctly. Let me see. Be somewhere on the right. And you just push in. Once you push in, kind of wiggle it. Make sure you got it all the way in there. You're gonna know whenever you have it in there, whenever you can finally push this lever up like that. So it's in there, it's locked in there. So make sure, see, you can't pull it out of nothing. That's how you do that. And now I'm gonna push this back in here. And once you got it on, just pull the lever down. Like so. Make sure you hear your clicks and boom, all done. I'm gonna torque this 
to 71 inch pounds. Clean the hole where the transmission uh, filter is going to be at, which is up in here. I'm going to clean that hole, make sure it's dry. Because if it isn't, you're probably going to be slipping in and out whenever you're going to try to put the uh, transmission uh, filter in there. And trying to uh, put the transmission pan on and make sure you clean your surface on here for the uh, for the transmission. And my phone is dying, so it's about all I can do for now. I'll let you know how my transmission does after I'm finished uh, putting fluid in it which is a whole nother method, which you can follow by the guy that I'm gonna have in the link description more like below. But it's your boy DVA Creations, guys. That's what your boy been up to. And hopefully after I'm done with this, this will fix all my problems, which I believe it will. It was a common problem and that's what the code ran up for. So I'm gonna catch you guys later.